Okay, here's uh, just a quick explanation of notation. Uh, this notation is called set notation. <clears throat> and this section also introduces you to interval notation. So let me describe what this says. So this first little squiggly says, okay, I'm giving you some numbers. Or here's a range of numbers. Ready? And then it says it has an X here. So the range of numbers are all numbers X. And this little line means as long as, so all the x's, as long as x is less than 5. Okay, so like 4, that would work, because it's less than 5. 3, that would work, anything less than 5. If you had 6, that's not a part of that range of numbers. Okay, <clears throat> now that's one way you can write it, a set notation. But you can also write it in something called interval notation. And interval notation is fairly simple because it just says, okay, where are you starting, comma, where are you ending? And then they put brackets at the end to indicate whether numbers are included or not. So in this case here, uh, where do you start? Like what is the smallest number you can get to? Well, this one just says x is less than 5, so it could be negative 10 negative a billion, it could just keep going. And so for that one, we'd say it would go all the way to negative infinity. So it never stops going to the left. And whenever you have an infinity, you always use a curly bracket. And then the highest number it can get to is 5, but it can't include 5 because it says x is less than 5. If it would have said x is less than or equal to 5, then that's something different. Um, but if it's x is less than 5, it doesn't include 5, so I put a curly bracket on that end. Okay, let me just get rid of some of my squiggles here. So that same thing, this here, in interval notation be, would be written like that. Now, if it was x is less than or equal to 5, well, let, let, me, let me change the inequality there. So say it was greater than or equal to 5. So like if I had a number line, here's 5. So it's everything bigger than 5, but it also includes 5. So I can use a different bracket for that. So in interval notation, or oh, a set notation would be all the numbers, all x's, as long as x is greater than or equal to 5. Okay. So in interval notation, that would look like this. So what's the smallest number? Well, the number, smallest number is 5. If I can include it, then I put a square bracket there. That means include. Comma, and then how far up can I go? Well, it goes on forever, so I put my infinity sign. And infinity always has a curly bracket. So this thing here is exactly the same thing there. They mean the same thing. Hopefully that helps you with that notation.